I mean, I think history has probably borne out that uh, there's never a wrong time to say it's about her because people are constantly making them. But um, I think I didn't know this bit of history. Um, I don't think it's been often dramatised. It's, um, it's an amazing bit of history and I felt like learning about it suddenly a lot of the, few, the things I did know about Elizabeth suddenly fell into place. And like, of course she did that because that's what happened to her. And I think just as, as a writer, I always find it really interesting the story that unlocks someone and then, just, and then and just kind of, this is the wife of Elizabeth. <laughs> this is um, the, uh, it's a pretentious way to say it, but um, I, the, the linear story of someone's life and because everyone, it's actually really advantaging because everyone knows who she becomes. That um, being able to really explore this kind of foundation blocks and see how they form a person and, and to let the audience know how that forms in the future um, felt really exciting. And I think uh, we, uh, well, we know her as one of like the greatest female uh, leaders we, we have, basically. And um, I think it's more. Um, Modern and more important today, as of, like as important today as it was years ago, to to uh, um, show how such an important female leader came of age, basically, and how who, what and what um, actions and who made her the person she was. Um, so I think it's a very modern story as well. basically everything to be honest because I didn't know I, I knew her um, like from history books I knew her, what she did when she became queen but I didn't know how she grew up I didn't know what happened to her when she was 14 I didn't know um, how she uh, first interacted with a man who, who it was how her relationship to her siblings was who she was as a person to me it was very much like this book uh, this person from the books or the portraits but I didn't know her um, yeah as a young girl so all of that that whole world um, was completely new and so very um, yeah palpable for me very yeah, very that's real I think that's how I felt that's how I felt not just with her with everyone but just kind of the I read a lot of the, the letters and uh, kind of anything that could be anything that I could hear their voices and I kind of I was amazed by how human people felt because I think you kind of have this this kind of uh, distant view of history mm. and especially the Jews and it's kind of like oh it's brutal they didn't care if they killed they didn't care when the children died they didn't care if they killed if they died at 40 so mm. I think people were actually living through incredibly traumatic stuff <laughs> um, and I think just hearing hearing the voice of like a 14 year old writing to a sister going like please love me and stuff like that I just mm. went oh I get it like I get now mm. this is this has something to say I think not change their opinion about her but more like make them understand how people build their own opinion how people become those public figures and what made them um, yeah, made them become those those huge personalities that we can't really um, grasp. Or like, yeah. yeah, I mean, I think that's it's not it's not too wide an ambition. I think it's about changing. It is telling that story for about all history, mm. and and I go to an extent. I don't, yeah, <laughs> change people's views of humanity. <laughs> Just seeing how people's reputations are built mm -hmm. and the humanity that is running underneath. Um, mm -hmm. people, and I kind of think she was a the monster really? when she was the queen. I think, but I, I think seeing the child that she mm. was um, makes you understand, makes you understand how people work her better. Right. I, what I tried to do create the best possible environment for the whole team, the whole cast, and everyone and to work and, and to be happy in and to be good and concentrated at, at what they do um, for everyone's sake and for my own sake and I think it's not a conscious thing, I think it's just if you spend a lot of time 
with um, amazing I mean, people. All the time. Um, <laughs> I, then uh, you uh, you just grow together and you care for each other. So it's not like you try to build something, but I think it just happens organically. Um, I mean, one of the amazing things I think Alyssa did was, especially because she spent so, she's in it so much, mm. and it is a huge workload, is she always, I remember you saying, any, because often a lead won't be on camera with someone else doing their tape mm. or something, and Alyssa was always like, oh, I should be that out of respect. And I just loved that you gave that respect for, to, for even the extra, she's like, I'll stand there, do the crowd shots, because she's, because she was a lead, and that is the heart and the, the, the kind of way to set an example. In a, in a but it was also the first three episodes we started um, with only candlelit mm. um, sets, so uh, and everything was lit so that you would never know if um, the GOP probably panned around mm. and then you'd be on camera. So I think taking that feel um, through the whole show and through the whole process, you were. I, I re very much enjoyed that because it made it made it all feel so real and raw and mm. honest. So um, I think we try to maintain that through the whole show. So being there mm. as well was just like a like a given, basically, and something that just made it all, yeah, more realistic and um, more fun. <laughs>